Hi everybody, Ashley and Jerome here from Atmosphere Collectibles. And we have a lot of just priced and graded used records to show. Uh, we've bought a lot and we've spent the past few days uh, working on getting some priced up to show for a video. Mm -hmm. So. And we're closed tomorrow, but we'll be up here all day pricing even more. Yes, because we are not done yet on all the stuff that we the just took in. And um, I also have like two boxes of new from our distributors. Somehow along the, and while it was en route, the boxes got divided up and we didn't get all of our shipment in. And there's a lot of special orders in that. So we may put up another video like tomorrow with so more we're, news. We're going to try, but every time we say we're going to, it never right. happens. Something always well, happens. Maybe, so. maybe Wednesday or uh, something, but we'll see. But. Anyway, we have a lot of variants. One of the collections we bought had multiples of everything. Um, so. So you want to start off with some of the higher yeah, price ones? Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is one that came in uh, on a trade, and I've never seen it in person. Uh, it is an original print from 2016 on pink vinyl. It's the Flatbush Zombies 3001 A Laced Odyssey. And um, this one's really cool. It has a certificate of completion, and it also has a uh, oh, a blotter paper insert. Uh, fake blotter paper. Fake blotter. Yeah, there's no acid on there, but uh, it's super cool inserts and an album that you just don't see very often. We so. have the CD, and it was it was it really was a pricier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even the CD. Uh, I think the CD has cool inserts with it as well too. So. So this is uh, Thrice, the Alchemy Index from 2017. There are four versions of this. There are two that are splattered vinyl, 10-inch um, splattered vinyl. One of those is numbered. This is the numbered version. On splatter vinyl? On splatter version, on, spl <laughs> on splatter vinyl. And uh, four 10-inch records. It is a really nice set. It's like an old 78 booklet, so. Are they different color splatters? They, they are different color splatter. I don't really want to. Yeah, it's a whole thing to take them out, but I did see like one of them is red with splatter, and then. I really need to get some. Uh, oh, they do have their own little actual 10 inch sleeves in here. Do they? And then this one's blue with splatter. Uh, anyway. There's so. clear, and I think green maybe. I don't know. But uh, it's a really cool set. Uh, so, we also have a bunch of, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, this is the uh, Polar Similar Norma Jean box set. And this is from 2018. Uh, it's limited to 500 copies. 250 on one color, 250 on another color. This has all the inserts uh, that came with it. It's got the feather, the four lithographs. Um, Double album, and this version is uh, midnight blue. It's the color of the vinyl, and it has uh, four lithographs, a, a feather, a transparent lyric sheet <laughs> with a black envelope, one feather, um, it's a nice box. Each record is housed in its own jacket, and this version is number three hundred out of five hundred. So, uh, 250 of one color, 250 of the other color, 500 total, number 300. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so uh, the next batch of variants. Now, I, we've got multiples from Thrice and, and Norma Jean, but right now, uh, I don't have them all grouped together. Um, so, we have Norma Jean. Okay, so first we have... An original print of Meridian, Meridianol, 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 and this is a first pressing from 2010, <coughs> and it's on black vinyl. Uh, the first press has more of like almost a glossy cover, and then they repressed it in 2020, with, and we have uh, some of those variants. Meridianol. I don't know. I'm not sure how that's supposed Meridianol. to be Meridianol. But this is the... Uh, Limited to 500. This is the black and white smash final version. And then we have limited to 300 blue and white. And we also have um, the uh, green and yellow smash limited to 200, which is even more pricey than the original brass. 
Which so. I don't understand it because like, I don't think it has to do with, you know, that's limited to 500, but it could be such a pretty color combination that goes with the cover that everyone all got together and they all decided that that's the one they want. Well, this I don't one's know. 200. Oh, that one is? Oh, okay. Yeah. But even out of the two that are 500 copies each, they're not like the same price, you know. Of course, we've got aftermarket pricing, so, you know. I was trying to figure out if they were a Christian band. I know when they first started out, they would play the Christian circuit, and uh, we couldn't figure it out. Well, well one thing that we did figure out, though, is that <coughs> they, the band as it is now does not have any of the original members of it. it from Oh, the current lineup, yeah. Current, no up, original current lineup. Uh, okay, so. so we also have Norma Jean All Hail. And we have multiple variants of this one. So this one uh, in my hand is limited to 500 Jupiter variant, and it's orange and yellow swirl. This is mirror clear and black smoke. And then we also have this one is limited to 500 on landslide, which is clear and gold split with black splatter. And then I also have two more that are sealed and i'm going to probably have to open these up to figure out which variants they are but one of those i have the alternate uh screen printed sleeve that is limited to 100 and this one's numbered at 20. Uh, i believe if you would have bought it new because i have an acacia strain that has got this whole packaging with the screen printed art sleeve and it there's no slip mat i mean the slip mat there's supposed to be a slip mat but it's not there so once it's inside yes that's that's what i'll possible. know whenever i open it up um so those are the variants on all hell uh we also have this is a original master recording of john mayall the blues alone it's from 1995 it's a limited numbered mobile fidelity this one is numbered 373 um i it did not say how many there was Printed total, but um, we did listen to this in the shop the other day, and it sounds good. It's John Mayall. So like this it? is uh, 1986 UK import BB King, the best of Volume One. Uh, speaking of blues, we've got a few blues records as well. Yeah, we got a reissue of Robert Johnson, King of the Delta's Delta Blues Singers. Uh, this reissue is from 2006, which is a classic. In 2019, Muddy Waters, I'm Ready, Friday Music, Limited Edition, Red Vinyl. This is fun. Uh, so this is Chromio, and the, and the album is called Business Casual. This is a 2010 black vinyl, and it's one that I don't see very often, so I thought it was fun. I put it on and listened to it over the weekend, and... Um, I think it'll probably sell pretty fast. We've got three albums from If These Trees Could Talk. Uh, we have Above the Earth, Below the Sky, 2021, limited, numbered, uh, 300 copies, Seafoam Marbled. They are post-rock, and this one is called Red Forest. <coughs> it's also limited and numbered reissue out of 300 copies on transparent peach marbled vinyl. Bones of a Dying World. Dying World. This is also 2021, uh, limited to uh, 600. This is uh, gold vinyl, and the cover is embossed. Mm -hmm. So a really nice copy. Yeah. Uh, we've got this. I've had this in before. It's been a while, but um, it's sort of a higher priced one. It's Cursive the Ugly Organ, and it's the limited edition, limited deluxe edition reissue out of 3,000 copies and yeah it's a good album it's just um you know hard to find <laughs> cursive presents the ugly organ so this is uh deftones white pony i've got a silk copy in the bins as well and then i've also have a copy of the diamond eyes on white vinyl in the bins now i have another copy so uh, the, the white vinyl is, says, limited edition white vinyl, high quality vinyl pressing. Uh, the vinyl was pressed in the Netherlands. The jacket was pressed in Canada. <laughs> oh, whatever. Got some jazz. Oh, yeah. So we got a little jazz. 
this is Go Go Penguin, uh, a humdrum star, and it's a uh, 2017. This is a uh, con modern contemporary jazz. It's a jazz trio from Britain. So that's on Blue Note. So this is Miles Davis on the corner. This is a 1972. And we got Miles Davis, a mandala. Um, from 1989, it's a gold stamp promo, and this is the he will take out a gun and shoot you era, um, <coughs> Miles Davis. <laughs> uh, this is kind of blue, but this is the limited edition uh, blue marbled vinyl uh, from 2018. Uh, Miles Davis. So my friend George likes this. Uh, Kamisi Washington, Harmony of Difference. Uh, this is from 2017. It's a 12 inch EP and um, yeah, contemporary jazz. I thought we had some more. We, do. Oh. we got a couple of Bill Evans. So, this is Bill Evans Montreux uh, 2, recorded live at the Montreux Festival uh, 1970. Uh, this is like the lacquer was cut by Van Gelder, it's got the laminated cover. This is also Van Gelder, Black of Cut, but this is uh, Bill Evans' trio at Town Hall, Volume 1, 1966, Stereo Pressing. It's a really nice copy. Uh, then we have Lenny White, Venusian Summer. Uh, I could be pronouncing that wrong, but the cover art is really cool. Venusian, Venusian. It's, it's a 1975 jazz fusion, and he's, he's a jazz fusion drummer. Um, Dexter Gordon Quartet, Manhattan Symphophone, Symphone, Symphony. Hmm. It's just felt oh, like symphony. yeah. <laughs> ah. 1978. That's the year I was born. Uh, okay, so we have soundtrack of Saint Elmo's Fire. This is a club pressing from 1985, and it's got. The song, St. Elmo's Fire, it's worth it just for that. We have a uh, Clockwork Orange uh, uh, reprint with the Warner Ghost label, Gatefold release. I got a few more soundtracks, yeah. Right there. So we got um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1. One of these is green and one of these are is yellow. And this is like the, the music composed and conducted by Alexandra Desplat. Um, got Back to the Future from 1985. This is a non-discog uh, CRC club with the barcode. Uh, we got La La Land. And then we have Still Magnolias, um, original motion picture soundtrack <coughs> from 1989. And Ry Cooter is on this. Hank Williams is on this. But you know who's not on this? Dolly Parton. <laughs> also <laughs> from 1989, we have Sea of Love. And that's uh, like Ellen uh, Barkin and uh, Al Pacino and John Candy is in that movie. So that's kind of random, but uh, that was cool. It's not something you see all the time. Uh, we have three records in, uh, two variants. This group is called End, and they only have one full-length album. One of these, uh, of each of these, uh, have been requested. Someone's had it on their list for a while. So we've got Splinters from, from an Ever-Changing Face. And so we've got, this is a 2020 limited edition of 500 copies, uh, Mustard and Black Pinwheel. And then this one is limited of 800 clear with metallic gold, royal blue, and black splatter. And there's like a die cut cover on that. I know one of these are is claimed. And then we've also got an EP from 2017 that is limited edition 250 copies, uh, blue and white vinyl. So, um, speaking of Dolly Parton, we do have uh, the best of Dolly Parton. It's a 1976 gatefold with the can label. Justin Timberlake, the 2020 experience from 2013. <coughs> mm. 
Oh, I can do the death uh, savings. Or what are you looking for? Uh, just trying to find more country. Johnny Cash, Rock Island Line, uh, 1971. Uh, I don't think I priced up much country, so there may not be much in here. Okay. So we'll have to work on that tomorrow. Okay. So we've got a couple of Dev Haven albums. So we have Sunbather uh, from 2013. This is a baby pink and a piss yellow. So one is piss yellow and one is baby pink. Infinite Granite from uh, 2021. And, and that was really good. We listened to it in the shop. Uh, actually that's their newest album. Actually, on there, so she's a big fan. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Uh, I didn't put that over here. Uh, all right, so we have Counterparts, Nothing Left to Love. This is a 2019 limited edition 500. It's a web store exclusive, twist red, blood translucent, and black with silver. Some of these variants, I'm telling you, I'm writing on these tags, all the variants, and it just cracked me up, like, <laughs> anyway. So this is brand new science fiction from 2017. This is a great record. It is a great record. It's a very dark record, actually. Yeah. Uh, really and cool. that one's on, one. I have, that one is going to be already claimed because it's on someone's list. I'm working on people's list here, so. Uh, I had another brand new album, too, that... I didn't have a uh, priced up yet, but it's also on a list, so um, doesn't matter. So, uh, but we do like to show, you know, and that's why it's good to get as your list because I'll work on them. I'll just come in and shop. <laughs> Arctic Monkeys, AM, uh, nice clean used copy for the bins. Uh, Tool Undertow. This is a 2006 reissue. And then we have. Uh, tool opiate. This one's sealed. Fallout Boy. Take this to your grave. The Fuel by Raymond Silver Vinyl. 2017 Metallica Master of Puppets. Which I think we're almost out of Metallica again. So uh, we have more Metallica down be, here. Yeah, we've got, got quite a bit going out. So it would be nice to have it back in the band. Yeah. Well, there's more scattered all amongst all this stuff, too. But um, Okay, so I have a couple more thrice. And I don't know that this is all of them, but I have these three if you want one. Okay. We've got Deeper Wells. This is this was a Record Store Day exclusive EP, and it's limited to 4,000. It's white vinyl, and it's got an etching on the flip side. So this is a Red Sky EP, and it's limited to 2,000. It's from 2019. It's clear with white and black high melt, whatever high melt whatever. is. But, uh, and then we have Palms from 2018. It's limited to 2,000, gray opaque with black swirl. This is... Uh, really kind of cool. It's the band, The Last Waltz, from 1978, and uh, classic record. We just got a couple copies of this and it's sealed. Yep. Um, All right, so we have a sealed Touche Amour Lament, and this is a hardback limited to 2,000 copies. Um, it's in this nice hardback book. And it has, it's a 72 page art book and it's the pinwheel, colored pinwheel design vinyl and it's sealed. So this is a nice one. This is uh, Ocean Rain, Echo and the Bunnymen, 1984, Winchester, first pressing. Oh, so we have Big Joni and the album's called Sistas. This is uh, from 2018, and it's like indie pop from the UK, or from, it says indie pop post-punk from London, and uh, she's good. We've played this in the store before. Good stuff. Red Sparrows at the Soundless Dawn. This is uh, 2011, limited to 500 copies, and it's on Swamp vinyl, and they are post-rock. And then we have another Red Sparrows. This one's called Every Red Heart Shines Toward the Red Sun. And it's just a limited edition. And I believe it's black and it's uh, from 20, 2006. 
1981 new traditionalist Devo. This is a club pressing. This is a uh, indie rock from Chicago, and the group is called Loom L U M E, and the album is called Rung Out, and it's from 2018. Yeah, we're trying to show new and old, kind of mix it together. Where I don't know everybody. But this mm -hmm. is Heart Dreamboat Annie, and it's from 1976. We also have, uh, that's the one with uh, Magic Man and Crazy on You. We have uh, Little Queen, uh, 1977, Barracuda uh, Magazine from 1978. And going into the 80s, we have 1985, uh, the self-titled which is a completely different sounding record for them, but it also had a lot of hits, so. All right, so this is a very interesting one. Um, this is from 2012, and I'm probably gonna <coughs> not pronounce this correctly, not on purpose, Zeraki, and the, it's called After Image of Autumn. It's Zeraki. like a, Okay, <laughs> it's like from 2012, and it is ch uh, Chinese ambient black metal music, and it is super limited, and it was a limited edition of 206 copies. It's very raw. It, like, uh... it has um, this really nice screen printed cloth outer bag, and then the vinyl is uh, like a colored, there's two different colors. And it's got um, some stickers and inserts. And I believe out of the 206 that they did, a portion of those were reserved for, like, the Chinese, like, locals or whatever. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it is something that's probably will be the only time we ever see it, I, I just assume. We listened um, to it the other night. It's, uh, yeah. if you like raw, atmospheric, black metal, you'll, you'll dig it. Um, it's very good. They also had another version that was even more limited. So, I mean, all together, there's under, like, well under a thousand, well under a thousand. But they also had, a, like, a hard box version of it as well, I think. But that was super limited as well. So. All right. So, this is uh, Street Songs, 1981, CRC Club Pressing, Rick James. Never have enough Rick James. Oh, we got Journey, Infinity from 1978. Got a couple of Huey Lewis. Uh, we got uh, Picture This and Sports. We've got Santana, Moonflower. We get asked for sports all the time. We do. And we never have it in. It sells fast. Uh, and then we also have Yes, Going for the One from 1977. So we have a couple of Billy Joel, just because we didn't have them in the bin. I went ahead and got them priced up. It's uh, Innocent Man from 1983, Pittman pressing. And then we have uh, The Stranger from 1977, the version that has the inner sleeve. Uh, we have a couple of Margo and the Nuclear So-and-Sos. Um, all right, so first we have Vulgar. Vulgar in the chapel, and this one is 2018 limited pink and clear high melt. Another one of those high melts, whatever that is. And then we also have uh, the Margot and the Nuclear So and So's Animal reissue on blue opaque vinyl. And these are records that, like, I think they'll probably sell pretty fast. Yeah. Um. I. I mean, I. I know someone who's gonna want them, but I. I know those will go fast. So. Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. This is uh, CRC, 1985, Club Press. So I have somebody who's looking for a nice copy of this, so um, I'm going to make sure to see if they need it. But it goes as fast as it comes. We've got the Boston Self-Titled. Uh, this is a 1976 Terre Haute Pressing, 
and it's probably one of the cleaner copies we've ever seen. It is definitely it's really a, good. Very, the vinyl on the thing looks brand new. And the um, cover looks great. I mean, there is a light little bit of ring wear down here, but... Yeah, that cover, there's nothing you can do for it. It's just gonna, you know, but that. that's the best copy of that I've seen in a long time. Uh, Yellow's Greatest Hits from 1979. Uh, also in excellent shape. We got a couple more of the Metallica reissues. So we have the self-titled and the Ride the Lightning. Did we already show Master of Puppets? Yes, I did. I think, okay. I, think I did. Yeah. Uh, Chip Korea, 1975, No Mystery. It's one you don't see as often. I bet Brody might like that. <laughs> All right. So, Sylvian, Sylvan Esso, self-titled. Uh, this is some indie pop from 2014. This is a first pressing of that. Quincy Jones, Sounds from 1978. Well, to match with my Christmassy like shirt, even though I just don't care uh, that it's Christmassy, I will wear it all year. But we've got um, the a compilation of holiday classics. It's Jingle All the Way. It is ten holiday classic songs, and it's on colored vinyl. I think it's green, maybe. And then we also have the soundtrack to the movie Elf on a picture disc. It's upside down. So, Elf Picture Disc. I believe we also have somewhere in here uh, Elvis Christmas. The Honey Drippers, Volume 1, 1984. Uh, we got a couple of Nirvana. So, we've got Unplugged in New York, which I just seem to not be able to get in. I don't, you know. Uh, and then... In Utero 2013 mix, the 2LP version. The uh, In Utero was uh, 2013, but uh, the Unplugged is just a great track list. Like, it's, I don't know. Everybody's got one. The Me Puppets covers are really worth it. It's your turn. Wow. Well, this is kind of cool. This is 1978 numbered copy of Frantum Comes Alive. There's two versions of the picture disc. There's one that's not numbered, and there's one that comes with this little card that's numbered. So uh, this is the numbered version. Nice. Uh, all right, so we have some Converge. So we have You Fail Me. Uh, this is a reissue. I think technically it's You Fail Me Redo, but it's the normal album, and it's black in transparent red. So it's like, I think this is one that looks like an apple. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, we still that. Great one. record. Oh. Uh, uh, Axe to Fall uh, from 2009, limited to uh, 300 copies. This is uh, blue, solid, and beer split with beer yellow with splatter. With yellow splatter. And it's uh, limited to 300 copies, and this is the first print. And then we also have All We Love, We Leave Behind. This is a 2012 limited edition of 718 on green marbled vinyl. That's super specific number there. Um, okay. uh, Black Keys, Death Song. This is probably my, or, sorry, Black Angels, Death Song. Mm -hmm. It's probably my favorite Black Angels album. Uh, it's really good. Yes. We love it. Anytime I play Black Angels in the store, like, I'll see people with their phone out. They'll be shazamming it. They'll be like, what are you listening to? I love this. So, I'm like... This album in particular is just really good. I also really like the live one that we've gotten in, the Le Levitation, or Le yeah. Blythe, whatever that one is. Um, so, this is a reissue from 2016 of Down, the album NOLA. If you're into... Um, I mean, I had, to, I had the CD whenever great, I was in high school. Great album. Good stuff. Have you already uh, shown all that? No, or are you mixing that I'm in? Just kind of, that's all. So I figured I'd pull something okay. over here. This is Dermot Kennedy uh, Without Fear. And this is um, 2019 limited edition. Uh, He's an Irish R&B pop singer. Is there, is there a 10 inch vinyl on that? Yeah. Okay, so you get one record and one 10 inch record. And the 10 inch, I believe, is green, maybe? I think the 10 inch is on colored vinyl, but the 
12 inches black. And then somewhere mixed in with this stuff, we also have an another, uh, like a 12 inch from him as well, but I don't know where it is. Uh, so this is the Still Woods and the album's called Straw in the Wind. It's uh, Southern Rock from 2017. And uh, I did have someone tell me once before that that's a really great band, so to check them out. The Eagles, their greatest hits. Uh, this is 1981, still in the shrink, and this is probably the best copy of this I've seen in a long time. I mean, it's great shape. Uh, also, speaking of the Eagles, we have uh, Hotel California with the poster. This is from uh, 1976, and it is a uh, PRC pressing. All right, so we have a couple from a group called Blacklisted, and this is some hardcore, I believe. Uh, so we have Heavier Than Heaven, Lonelier Than God, and this is from Limited at 1000, Clear with Blue Haze from 2008, and then we have No One Deserves to Be Here More Than Me on Orange Transparent from 2009. 1981, The Best of Blondie. It's got oh, the so hype. Same. You're it excited does, oh, about yeah, the hype. It also has the hype sticker. It's in the shrink with the hype sticker. That collection of 80s we got are just in fantastic yeah. shape. Like, they're some of the best copies I've seen in a while. High right. 70s and 80s. So, we've got the Blue Stones, and the album's called Black Holes. It is a limited edition to 200 on purple and cream splatter. It's a really pretty variant. Matches the cover really well. Uh, they are like a... Canadian blues rock duo, I believe. Um, it is really good. And I think I have before gotten, been able to get a black vinyl version of this, but this color variant is uh, pricier on the aftermarket if you have to have that pretty, pretty, pretty colored version, then uh, you might have to pay for Locked it. Locked <laughs> Kansas, um, 1976. Got a couple from a group called Cult Leader, and so we have their first one, I believe, is called Lightless Walk. This is limited to 311 on white vinyl, and then we have A Patient Man, um, and this is indie exclusive of 1000 on opaque red and black mix, and I believe it's like melodic hardcore. Uh, they're on Death Waltz, so... Or Death Wish or Death Waltz, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, 1976 uh, Bogart label, Kiss Destroyer, uh, VG. Um, played it, sounds great. That is the uh, original with the cardboard in it. Carol Pressing. All right, so we have Queen, A Night at the Opera. This is original from 1975 with the embossed butterfly and then we have a reissue from 2008 of a day of the races so queen always sells fast so uh 1979 pink floyd the wall this is just a really great play copy the little old a little new um we've got a perfect circle mare de noms this is black vinyl version but it's still a little bit harder to find lately because it's been out of stock for a while so it's a little pricier 2012 limited edition clear blue this is gaslight anthem and written uh, we've got a couple of doom riders um, so we've got grand blood on purple vinyl and then we have darkness come alive a limited edition gray black mix and they are metal hardcore doom. It's a really cool cover. I like, like the name that. too. Yeah. So I definitely want to listen to this. I think I might have, I thought we've listened to them before. But I could be wrong. Okay, so we've got, um, this one is one that came back in stock recently. However, not this pressing. The Counting Crows, August and Everything After. This is the 2012 Analog Productions pressing. And it's a little bit 
pricier on the aftermarket. Uh, they're both two LPs and 45 speed. Yeah, they're both 45 so, speed. So. But um, I believe I, I sold this one online. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. All right. <laughs> well, I just figured I can find other people a copy of it uh, lately. I have been able Emerson, to. Lake, and Palmer, Love Beach. So we've got Russian Circles Station. And this is a limited edition of 1000 on this particular variant. It's like a gold, swirled golden black vinyl, although it's really hard to see. Uh, anyway, uh, Russian Circles is great. Uh, yeah, of, we have the same. We have the green copy. The green oh, copy. okay. Uh, but it's, it's post-rock kind of instrumental metal. So it's really good music. Uh, this is a white label promo, uh, Pat Benatar, uh, <laughs> Crimes of Passion, uh, You Better Run, uh, oh, single, and it's uh, 1980, and it is actually a uh, Lieberman, which was one of the one stop uh, oh, promotional. that's so. interesting. Um, okay. okay. Oh, so Evansville's owns The Cold Stairs. Uh, we've got in their album Mountain, which is a, a cool one. So um, it, they have a brand new album, and I have, I don't know, I may have one in the bin. If not, I'll have to double check and see if I still have a copy out in the bins. But uh, the Cold Stairs is a really great uh, band from our area. And you should check them out. Yeah, they come in and shop with us. They're, they're really great uh, if you like blues rock. And stuff. Uh, cheap, thrill, cheap Thrills, Big Brother and the Holding Company. This is a, uh, well, it's an unknown year pricing, but... Uh, we'll never know. Cool pricing. Uh, probably about 82, I would say. But it's a UK press. Uh, All right, so we have Grey Haven, and the album's called Cult America. It's a limited edition of 200 copies on red and blue splatter. And Grey Haven is a band from Louisville, I believe, yeah. And um, it's limited to 200 copies. So they just have, they have a new album out and we had it in, although I think it's already sold. I'll have, to, you know, I can, I believe I can still get the new album, but uh, this one's probably harder to find. The Beatles, 1962 to 1966. This is a 1973 press and it's a Jacksonville press. This is The Damned Things, and the album's called High Crimes. It is an FYE limited edition of 300 on baby blue vinyl. And this has got members of Fall Out Boy, Anthrax, Alkaline Trio, and Every Time I Die. So that's probably a really big deal. This is The Essential Jimi Hendrix Volume 2, and this is a 1979 um, Jacksonville with the uh, alternate run out. And this is a version that did not come with the 45. So. We still have all of these and the whole crate. <laughs> okay. ADHD, Joner Lucas. Oh, the album is, the artist is called Joiner Lucas and the album is called ADHD. And it's a limited edition gold vinyl UK import and it's autographed on the cover. So it's a little bit of a pricier one, even if it's not autographed and then autographed on top of it. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the Claypool Lemon Delirium, South of Reality. This is the uh, 2019 pink and purple split with blue splatter. This is probably my favorite thing uh, Claypool ever done, has ever done. We've got Vane Error Zone, and this is limited to 1,500 copies on green with highlighter yellow splatter. And um, they just put out a new album like in the past few months. And so I believe this is an earlier or their first album. I'm not sure, but yeah. So this is kind of weird, but this is uh, Eminem Kamikaze uh, 2018, all of green vinyl. I thought it was going to be the Beastie Boys. <laughs> It's a fake out. So we've got a really nice used copy of Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon, The End of Day. Uh, 
Uh, Jay Z Magna Carta. This is from 2015, and this is kind of you know it was in and out of stock. So. It's been out of stock for at least a year or two, because uh, Third Man is the one that pressed that, and this one's a really cool one because it's got a. It's inside of the cover. You would have to cut open the cover to get the... There's like a postcard flexi disc that plays inside of the cover. So it's a 2LP on black. And then you could cut it out and play it if you wanted to. But this one but has not been cut open. Since it's on the cover, I mean, I would never cut it out. But I probably would. If it was my record, I would. Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, then you could just be like... For all we know, there's little things hidden in all of these records if we just cut into them. <laughs> okay, so I have a long list of people who is waiting for this album. Uh, currently, it's out of stock. It's been out of stock for a while. So um, this one, we had to pay like, <coughs> aftermarket prices to get it in. But it is Mac Miller, Divine Feminine. Uh, believe me, I'm working on people's list. Hopefully, it will come back in stock. I just don't know when or a timeline, but... Unless you want to pay aftermarket prices, so. then, you know. Uh, but I also got in a nice clean copy of Swimming from Mac Miller. So we got Nelly Country Grammar. This is a 2015. Um, so we've got the Notorious B.I.G. Greatest Hits. Uh, this is an exclusive red vinyl version. And it was limited in 2018 reissued. It says record store crawl version, which, um, yeah, so red vinyl. So this is a 2013 180 gram Slayer Rain of So, which is getting kind of pricey too. Um, but there is a, there's a current reissue of that if it comes back in. Um, the threats and it's called Saboteur, and it's members of the Chariot, and it's limited to 300, it's melodic hardcore, and um, yeah, from 2018. So these right here are the original, right? No, this. this. Here. And then all of these too. Uh, so I have some more Thrice. So we have Thrice Beggars, now, this is the 2019 limited edition green, blue, and yellow, and it also comes with a 7-inch, so that's like the special version. And then we also have Thrice Viesu, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's limited to 2,200 deluxe edition reissue on black. All right, so this is uh, Daft Punk Discovery. Oh, here's my uh, Elvis uh, Christmas album. <laughs> Matches my little Christmas shirt. And then this is a group called Lydia, and it's called This December, It's One More and I'm Free. And it's a limited edition reissue, clear with black smoke vinyl. Mm. Yeah. All right, we got a couple copies of Every Time I Die Radical. Um, we have one that is sort of clear as flatter, and then we have one that I believe is green. I think that was the indie exclusive, is a green one. Yeah, I believe it is. And then somewhere I also have another Every Time I Die. Uh, um, I don't know. Well, we'll come to it, I guess. Uh, so, and I also have another one of these somewhere too. This is, this is the group. This will destroy you, and this one is their self-titled. And one of them, one of the records is black, one is gold, and it also comes with a seven-inch of language of memory. And they're another group, kind of similar to Russian Circles. Uh, they are really good. I recommend checking them out if you like that instrumental post-rock vibe. So this is uh, Cursed 2. This is from 2015. It's clear with multi-splatter. 
And if you like sludge, hardcore, uh, even some black metal, this is a great record. And here's another, This Will Destroy You. This is the reissue of their album, Young Mountain. And uh, it's like, if you light it with a black light, it glows, I guess. It says UV spot gloss cover reissue. All right, we've got some balance and composure. We've got only boundaries from 2012. It's a limited edition 500 single-sided turquoise marble. And then we have the things we think we've missing. Uh, 2016 red transparent vinyl. And then we have uh, separation uh, from 2016 transparent red vinyl. And then we also have the chariot. Everything is alive. Everything is breathing. Nothing um, is bleeding. This is a limited edition, 475 copies on metallic silver vinyl. So we have Prince, uh, Madhouse 6, uh, 1987, 12 inch maxi single. And we've got Explosions in the Sky, The Earth is Not a Cold Dead Place. And then also we have Mono, him to the immortal world. This is a, it also has seven inserts with it and it's more post rock from 2009. This is a first press, uh, Carrollton pressing from 1983. It's Ozzy Bark at the Moon. Um, this is Remembering Never. This hell is home and it's Metalcore from Florida from 2013. <coughs> Ooh. All right, we have Raging Slab from 1987, Ass Master. It does not have a comic book, but um, every time I die from parts unknown, here's the other eated, as they say. <laughs> Between the Buried and Me, uh, Colors, this is uh, 2017, and this is not the library, this is the actual album, I believe. Um, and then I also have Between the Buried and Me, Coma Ecliptic, and it's a 2015 limited edition of 500 copies on black vinyl, and it comes with a poster. So this is one that I don't, I mean, we have a lot of Between the Buried and Me, but I don't think I've seen this one. Um, so, yeah. This is uh, Chelsea Grin, uh, Eternal Nightmare from 2018. This is... Uh, Black and orange. And this metal core, really heavy. So we have a couple from a group called Strawberry Girls. And one is called Tasmanian Glow, and it's from 2019. And then the other one's called Italian Ghost. And it's like prog instrumental math rock. Uh, this one's limited to 200 on purple. And this is on Translucent Fuchsia. Being as an Ocean, Dear God. Uh, this is 2014, limited to 1,000 copies. Hot Topic exclusive. Black, white, gray, smash. Uh, we have Air, Moon Safari. This is a 2015 reissue. And we also have, like, I think we have, like, either The Best of Air or we have an Air, another album out there from Air. So, um, people will love them, really love them. 2016, Charles Bradley Changes. We've got the Baby Huey story, uh, The Living Legend. And... This is a 2019 limited edition reissue from Run Out Groove, and they do a great job. So it is one that I would recommend picking up. <laughs> NF Perception from 2017. As of right now, the only NF that is in stock is the mixtape. So that one's been out of stock for a while, but um, yeah. Uh, we have Halsey. 
Man Manic on Milky Clear Colored Vinyl. ASAP Rock, No Shall Pass from 2007, First Vinyl Press. I think I have a different pressing of that out in the bins as well. That's like if you just want that album and you don't well, want the yeah. first. Uh, so this is Born of Osiris, Osiris and it's Tomorrow We Die Alive. It is Deathcore from 2013, limited edition 500 on blue marble vinyl. Pound, Pound from 2019, limited to 250. Black and white uh, says Math Rock Grindcore. So I haven't checked it out yet, but. Okay. Well, so I got a couple older ones. We got Bruce Springsteen, The River, which I know we have more Bruce Springsteen to price. We'll work on that tomorrow. And then Casey and the Sunshine Band, subtitle. We pretty much have the entire Springsteen catalog through the 80s. Uh, Misery Signals, Ultraviolent, 2020, limited edition, 200 copies, silver and purple on gold. All right, yeah. so we have um, some logic. Now, this one is a pricier one. It's limited edition, 2019, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. It's a higher price one. Um, and this is uh, No Pressure from 2020. And then we also have another um, No Pressure, and I believe this is just a different pressing. Um, so, we'll go some logic. All right, Blackberry Smoke, uh, Southern Ground Sessions from 2018, Smoky Clear Vinyl. We got Billie Eilish, Don't Smile at Me, and this is half red and half yellow vinyl. Uh, Connor Burst, uh, Rumination. Rumination from 2016, Friday. I feel like we have, we might have a different pressing of that, or yeah, I could be wrong. Do we own that? Yes. Okay. Uh, the Dead Weather, Sea of Cowards. This is a great. Great one. Uh, Benjamin Todd, A Heart of Gold is Hard to Find, and this is still sealed. We've got the most recent Urge Overkill album called We. Came out this year. Cody Jinx, uh, I'm Not the Devil, 2016. Uh, Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin. And the album's called The High Country. It's limited to 500 on clear red vinyl, and it's like indie pop. We're so uh, close. Corrosion of Conformity. Uh, no Cross, No Crown. This is moving into, I believe, their Southern Rock era. And this is Purple with Orange. Great band. All right. So this is a Remembering Never, Women and Children Die First. It is limited to 200 on gray and blue split. And it looks like um, maybe a little bit more pricier. All right, this one is kind of pricey and it's uh, um, Hosier. Waste, Wasteland Baby, it's oh. his most recent album but it's been all of the hosier has been out of stock for a while yeah, I'm not sure. so we're reaching into aftermarket pricing territory but i have them i've got my fingers crossed i'm hoping that we get some in yeah any back orders anytime we get anything no matter what it's going for online if it's something we get from the distributor it goes out for retail yeah so but if we buy, you know, on then we have, we have to, buy to pay collector prices on it, then and it's selling we for have to price it more money. Prices. They're not gonna let us pay what? <laughs> right. You know. So it works uh, both ways, really. So we got he is legend, and the album's called Few, and this is Hard Rock from 2017. 2019, John Coltrane, Blue World. Uh, this is from the original tapes, and it's just black here. 
Uh, you know, we don't have that album. Yeah. Are we going to open it here? Yeah. Okay. So this is one that's a uh, group that we really like, Manchester Orchestra, and it's called the Black Mile Demos on pink marbled vinyl. This is uh, Day Trader, 25 years, and it is from 2012. Uh, Vela Maya. Vela Maya, um, False Idol, from 2017, limited edition, 500 copies, first press, um, Trans yellow purple splatter. Uh, so we got Tyler the Creator, Flower Boy. I know there's some people who are waiting on this album, and uh, I will need a refresher on that one because uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. Dermot Kennedy, Lost in the Soft Light from 2020. Uh, it's a UK import. That's the Irish R&B singer, I believe. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what this is like. This is called The Apprentice, an American Portrait, and it's limited to 100 copies numbered. This is number 61 out of 100. It's screen printed on the front, and I believe that it's regional. So I still have to listen to it and do a little deeper dive on that. But <laughs> do we do this one? Yeah. Uh, Royce to five nine, and it's called Book of Ryan, and it's some hip hop from twenty eighteen, and I believe he's like affiliated with uh, Eminem. Uh, Love you, Moon. Uh, Wax Wayne, two thousand nineteen, limited edition, five hundred. Uh, dark blue and light blue. So we got the Melodies Echo Chamber album called Bon Voyage, and this is a uh, violet. And this is kind of like indie pops, modern psych, indie pop with female vocals. Mara Zill, uh, Propane, from 2004, limited edition. It's a 12-inch, it's hip-hop, I think, I can't remember where I'm from. Uh, Melling, Melling Teleportation, this is some psych rock from Bowling Green that came Morning out in 20... Morning Teleportation. Morning Teleportation. Yeah. And it's called Salivating for Symbosis. And so they're they're from the town over. And unfortunately, I think the singer passed away in the past few years. After the burial, Evergreen. This is still sealed from 2019. Limited edition, 500 copies, silver white vinyl. That is metalcore. And I think this is the last one. All right. Okay, so, so we've got As, City, As Cities Burn, Scream Through the Walls. It's some indie post-hardcore on just normal black vinyl. So. so that'll give you an idea of the kind of stuff we're pricing up right now. Yeah. Uh, there is still a whole lot more to go. So. And we wanted to show a variety. So we showed some stuff like from the 70s, 80s, and today. <laughs> and we still, have, we still have a lot of that 80s and 70s collection still to be priced up. And I don't know. And so it's a really long video. Thank you if you made it to the end. Like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below. Interact with the channel. Will you notice that we've got like about 500 subscribers? So we just want to thank everybody for watching our videos and supporting the shop. It means a really, it means a lot to us. So, yeah. um, so now we're gonna get home to the dogs. They've been waiting on us, and it's time for dinner. So, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll upload a new video as soon as possible.